Do you know how to calculate mean, mode and median in R? Do you want to learn some cool tricks in calculating mean, mode and median in R? Then stay tuned to see some coding in R language. I am Shreesh and welcome to Learning Puri, a channel for applied learning. On this channel, I share with you tips and tutorials on data science, business management, marketing and personal development. In the previous video on the measures of central tendency, we had used some data to illustrate the concept. You can refer to the video in the link above to see the data. In this video, we will use the same data to demonstrate how we will use our language to calculate these same measures. Additionally, we will also see some tricks in our language code to minimize the effort in calculating the measures of central tendency. I have pre-returned the code to save some useful time. So without further ado, let's begin. We will commence with the data set on rating for the day. To calculate arithmetic mean or simply the mean of the data, we take the summation of the data, which is this, and divide it by the count or number of data points, which is this. So your average or your arithmetic mean or the mean of the data is given by this particular formula. So let's run this particular set of code and see what it gives us. So we see that the average or the mean or the arithmetic mean for this particular data set is 3, which is exactly the same as we had seen earlier. In R, we will calculate it like so. However, there is a simpler way to do this using the mean function in R. And we find that it gives us the same. The median was explained using the examples on incomes of people in the population. R uses a simple function, which is the median, to calculate the median. So let's run this data set as well. We see that the calculation yields us the same median numbers that we had seen in the video earlier. For the mode, we had used the example of a retail shoe store. In R, we do not have a straightforward way to calculate mode. We need to write a small piece of code to get the mode. You can pause and run the video back and forth to write the code down. The code is as below. So let's run the code and see what we get. And the result of this is 60, which is again the same as what we had seen in the earlier video. You will notice that except the mode, we can get measures of central tendency quickly using the inbuilt functions in R. But that's not true. Now for the fun part to see some quick tips. We had to run two functions and one code separately to get the measures. Now we will look at pacing up this effort in a single step. I've already created another data set rt underscore sk in a csv file on my computer for this purpose. By using these following commands, I am simply accessing this data in the R environment. So let's quickly do that. You can see the histogram of the data in the right hand side bottom window. This is a slightly right skewed data. We will discuss data skews and data distribution in a later video. We will first run our regular inbuilt functions and the code seen earlier to get the measures like so. However, to get the mean and median, we can simply run another built-in function, which is summary. You can see in the output of the summary function that mean and median get calculated as a part of the entire function. However, this still does not resolve our issue to calculate the mode. For this shortcut tip, you will need to install the modest package prior to using the command that we will see in a moment. To install package, go to tools, install packages and write the package name and click on install. I will not do this because this package has already been installed on my laptop. So I don't need to reinstall it again. Once done, we will first need to invoke it using the require command. Let's run the mean, median and mode again on the rt underscore sk data. So this, these are the values that we've already obtained using the inbuilt functions in R. We can see the same set of values 
except the mode being reflected in the summary output. Now we are going to use the MFV function under the modest package to get the same set of values. We will use the built-in functions in R to get the mean, median and mode values. Then we will run the MFV command which is available within the package modest to get the mode alongside summary function to get the other two values which is the mean and the mode. We see that the same values are obtained for the mean, median and mode using these two separate commands. So this is the shortcut tip that is available to get the summary statistics in R. This way we get our measures of central tendency in just two steps instead of the long drawn procedure of writing a code as seen earlier. So that's it for now. Let me know in the comments below in case you have found a new method to calculate the measures of central tendency using R. In the next video, we will see how to get the measures of variability using R. Do not forget to watch the video as I will be sharing with you some more cool tips and tricks. Do click the like button to like this video. If you are new here, consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button and do not forget to click the notification bell to notify you of more such videos from me. And as always, stay healthy, stay peaceful.